7 up 7 here, and welcome to part 17 of my Dragon Quest 8 walkthrough. Right now we're going to leave Alexandria. In the last part you should have gotten all caught up on everything in the story. So now we have to head out for our next town, which is Port Prospect. So just head out, turn left, out of Alexandria. The battles out here should be really easy by now. You should uh, win in one or two turns. Just keep on moving down this road here. You're going to be heading like you're heading towards the Tower of Alexandria, but up here at this fork, you're going to take a right. Go up that way. You still go a little ways until the monsters change. Now we're going to be going onto a beach to get a chest, and there's some pretty difficult monsters down there. In fact, I died off screen. I had to edit it. Uh, but I just got really unlucky. There was a group of monsters I got stuck with. It's just about the worst imaginable group you could get stuck with at this point. And uh, I didn't even know it was possible to get stuck with that many at one time. So <laughs> Yeah, just uh, veer off the road here onto this beach. And if you want to keep from having to fight the harder monsters then don't do what I do because I go straight down all the way onto the beach but what you really should do is follow the rock area you can climb over all of those rocks instead of going down in the little gully I went into or I'm going to go into uh, and so then you'll fight like the weaker monsters like this instead of the really strong yabby is the one that, that gets you is the name of the monster uh, they have decently high HP and very high attack. They hit for the same amount that you hit them. It's very hard. So yeah, instead you can just follow the rocks over on the top right corner up there. You can follow those rocks all the way down. There it is right there. They're pretty good at this point. And they attack multiple times as you see. So I got stuck in a group of three of those, and then two frog faces. So you can imagine, it was pretty hard since you faced frog faces before in the Tower of Alexandria. So if you want to keep from doing that, I probably should have healed right there. If I would have healed right there, I was being a little cocky. If I would have healed right there, then I definitely would have made it without dying but okay so you're gonna see this chest over here I come open it up get the seed of strength there's where I died I edited that I made it back over there so this time instead of walking all the way around you can just go straight up here Soon after this on the road is when the monsters are going to change on the actual path. I had just enough time in this part to get to full prospect. So. There's one more chest right outside of the town that we're going to get. It's not too far off the path. Close to dying again. I'll do it one more time with Yangus too. When I did die though, and I had to edit a bunch of stuff out when I was traveling back from Alexandria the second time, I did get uh, to level 10 with both characters. So keep that in mind. Uh, I think that Yangus's axes got all the way up to 30. Was it? I think so. And the hero got the 17 boomerangs, and now at 18 is when we're gonna stop giving him that and move to spears. 
so uh, just be cautious of that. In case you happen to be a couple levels over me. Probably should have talked about them monsters, shouldn't I? Spiked hairs are very annoying. So if you haven't noticed, we've gotten the new monsters now. Jail cats are easy. Spiked hairs are really annoying when they get high tension. And later on I almost die because I get in a group of them um, with... have to wait till we get to that part, won't we? There's a lot of them around here, though. Oh, I get in a group with two of those and then two fencing foxes. And fencing foxes aren't bad, but with the spike hairs, they were kind of difficult. So I almost died there, too. I'm good at binding stuff and boss battles, but not these battles. <laughs> can do the boss battles pretty good. That's stone archway right there, that's the entrance. But we're gonna veer off to the left here southeast. Now we still have a few of the same monsters here as you can tell. That was a pretty easy battle. Seed of life, and here's where that battle happens. I'm pretty sure Yangus almost dies. Both the uh, spike carriers psych up and attack. By the way, that was the uh, ability that he gained whilst off screen. When I applied his axe skills, he uh, he gained the ability to hit more critical hits. So he's hit quite a few. Okay, now open the chest for the seed of life. And now we're gonna head back towards the town. We're gonna have one more battle, and we're gonna finally make it to Port Prospect. That's very easy. They do do this crack move though, which is their strongest attack, and it can get very annoying. But they're pretty easy to take out fast, so not a lot to worry about. They usually don't cast it like twice in a row like that, but. Okay, just stick to this wall to avoid as many battles as possible, and go straight through those stone arches, and you will immediately be in Port Prospect. Congratulations. Now in the third town of the game. Uh, in the next part, we're going to explore Port Prospect and get all the items. Uh, we have to fight a boss in the next part, I think. But then... So then there's more items after we fight the boss, but for right now we're going to have five items to get in the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye.